Greeting the Hebrews, my brothers and sisters. This is the high priest, L.D. Smith, the Watchman of the Wall. Family, as always, grab that King James, but first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to the whole family. Have a Sabbath, Israel. That being said, family, we're going to get right into our teaching. Oh, we got a wonderful teaching, family. Oh, I tell you, it's all about the counsel of the Most High God. I think I named this one right here. Uh, fear not, for whatever the Most High, uh, whatever the Lord has said, it shall be. Isn't that wonderful? Especially knowing that you are in his plan. See, let me, let me seek and I, I, I give the uh, definition of counsel. Counsel is God's purpose and plan for our lives. That's why we have do's and don'ts. Are y'all are getting it now? That's why we have do's and don'ts, because it is God's purpose and plan for our lives. Now, uh, we're going to show you here in the Most High's Holy Word, you know, um, how the Most High uh, plan is for our lives. And uh, he is our God and our God only. He doesn't belong to anyone else. And he's concerned about from one generation to another. He's concerned about we, his people. It started, it started back with Abraham, and we're gonna, we, hopefully we're going to get there with Abraham today. And we're going to show you guys, you know, uh, that God has a plan for us. And the do's and don'ts are in there. And we got to figure out why is it so hard for us not to follow the do's and the don'ts. Because the don'ts uh, mean that that's something that we shouldn't do. And then we do it. And then that, that brings death to us. See? And uh, when, when you say don't do something and we do it, then that, that causes separation from us and our God. Because now we have transgressed against what he says don't do. See what I'm saying? So anyway, family, we're going to go ahead and get into our teaching. And as I always say, I want you guys to read along with me. I want you, to think, you guys to think about it. Think about the words that are coming out of your mouth. And I know that the most I would give you a clear understanding. And we are going to be coming from the book of, of, of Psalms, Psalms 33. And we're going to uh, start at verse 9. And uh, we're just going to show you guys here. And we're, going to, we're just going to move on. And, I'm, and, and uh, we're going to show you here uh, how the most High plan is for us. Now it says that, for he spake. And it was done. Y'all see that? He spake, and it was done. So when you speak, what comes out of your mouth? Words. So when he speak, he spake words. And he, and he commanded, and it was done. He said, and it stood fast. Now verse 10 says, the Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathens to naught. See that? Don't listen to nobody else outside our family because they don't have, they didn't have what we had we had structure we had commandments we had statutes we had judgments we had those but see but now when you start listening to somebody outside the family then then then, then they take you off into something else reading all the other books and whatnot see let me tell y'all something this is God's world this is God's earth everything belongs to him there's nothing lost Okay, don't let any don't, don't let anyone tell you all. Oh, but these are the lost books. There's nothing lost. There's nothing lost. He knows where everything is at. See, so it's not lost. But let's keep on going. He says him, um, he maketh the devices of the people of non effect. The technology that they have ain't worth nothing when it comes to him. They think that they are the smartest kids on the block, but in reality, they are the dumbest kids on the block when it comes to the Most High. Now let's keep on. He said, for the counsel of the law stand forever. It's what I said. It's what the Most High has said. That's what it's going to be in the beginning, and that's what it's going to be in the end. So what you going to do? You're going to live or you're going to die. Are you going to do what he says do? Are you going to uh, are you going to do contrary to what he says do? 
the thoughts of his heart to all generations. The thought of his heart to all generations. Our generation. Listen. What God has said, that's what it's going to be. That's the thoughts of his heart. And he spoke it out. This goes to all generations. All generations should know that whatever the Most High said, that's what it's going to be. It's not going to be any, anything different. It's going to be what he says. Now let us keep on. Bless is the nations whose God is the Lord. He has a plan for us. I told you, starting out, God purpose and plan for our life. That's his counsel. That's why he says to all generations, he has a purpose and a plan for our lives. And you and I have to do it according to the, the way that he has set it up. It can't be any other way. It's his way. And when you don't do it his way, the other ways bring death. Now look what he says here. And the people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. That's us. See that? Purpose and plan for our lives. Do's and don'ts. What he have said. He never said anything about grafting nobody or sin. He never said that. He said he, he, he always talked about the people that he have chosen. The, 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 the other book talking about grafting somebody in, he never said that. He even told us don't gender our fields. When you got corn out there, let it just be corn. When you got peas out there, let it be just peas. Don't don't gender it. Don't have corn and peas and cabbage. Because then you done polluted it. See, so you can see here. This is not even debatable. It's right in the pages. It says in 16, blessed is the nation. Huh? Whom God is the Lord. And the people. And the people who he has chosen for his inheritance. Not Jesus. Jesus chose, talking about these others to my grass and men. The most I never chose that. And you can see right in the pages, he never chose to be anybody else's God but the Hebrew Israelites. One cannot, one does not even have a leg to stand on when it comes to this right here. It's self-explanatory. I'm going to read again. 12. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord and the people whom he, not Jesus, not you, not somebody else. You just can't say, well, okay, I'm going to be a part of, part of the family. It, no, it's a bloodline. has chosen for his own inheritance. See that? Don't let nobody fool you. They are just standing on the corner talking all that foolishness about, about this Jesus and this and that. Listen, let me tell y'all something. Any of y'all got any kind of common sense at all? I'm just asking you. Common sense. Go back and look at what he told my Uncle Moses. He said, who make it the blind? Who make it the deaf? I do. But then when you go over there and look at Jesus, everybody that was blind, they didn't ran into, he, he, he healed them and gave them their eyesight back. Everybody that was deaf, he spit on his, on his hand and, and then uh, did some other stuff with his, with his tongue, you know, with the man and all of that. there, didn't put it in the man's ear. All kind of old foolishness talking about he gave the man his, his, his hearing back. 
But now, think about it like this. That being the case, now like I said, I want you to go back and, and research it. Go back and see what, see what he told Moses. Go back and see what he did. See, didn't he, didn't he tell Moses that he made the blind man in the death? But now God made, the most High made the blind and the deaf, but then when Jesus go over there in the New Testament, and then everybody that's blind and deaf, he changes what God has done. Can y'all see that? That can't be done. That can't be done. Because Isaiah 43 says over there, the most High said, I will do my work, and who will let it? In other words, Whenever I do something, who can who can go and change it? <laughs> go over and read it. Then Jesus tells them, He say, "For this cause I came." I forget what book it is. I think it might be Hebrew. But He says, "For this cause I came, that I might destroy the one that has the power over death." <laughs> now, when you go back and look in the Old Testament. You'll see that the Most High God says, I kill, I make alive, I wound, I heal. So then Jesus said that I came to kill him. I mean, honestly, look, all I ask you to do is just, just do your research. Go back and look at it and see whether I am with the scriptures or not. That's all I ask you. When you go back and you read it and you see it with your own eyes, you will see that there is no rebuttal. There's no reason for a rebuttal because you can see clearly what someone is saying. If someone comes and then threatens you and say, well, I came to kill you, and they can have their pistol on them, you'll say, well, you are threatening me. I came to kill you. And that's what Jesus said. I came to destroy the one that has the power over death, which is the devil. But now when you go back in the Old Testament and you read over there, you see who has the power. You see who has the power over death and life. It's the Most High God. But you are told not to go back and read. And all I ask you to do you just check behind me, that's all. Just check behind me. Please, check behind me. I want you to. I'm asking you, I'm begging you, please check behind me. Because when you go back and check, you're going to see that everything I'm saying is right. And that's going to help you. I'm here to build up and help, not, not to destroy you. I'm here to build you up. But I am here to destroy that, that lie over the New Testament. Yes, I'm here to destroy that, that lie. But let's keep on. The Lord looketh from heaven. He behold all the sons of men from the place of his inhabitation. He looketh upon all the inhabitants of the earth. See that? He fashioned their hearts alike. He considered all their work. There is no king saved by the multitude of a host. See that? It ain't about numbers. You can, you can be with the thousands and the millions. That don't, that don't help you. He, and it won't help you. It will not help you. That's why I'm telling you, look at what God is saying. You can be with the popular group, look, that's not gonna help you. That doesn't mean that they're right. He says, a mighty man is not delivered by much strength. See that? One that can speak elegantly, one that can pronounce all the words, one that can, can, can read fluently. That don't mean that he knows or she knows what they're talking about. It has to be the most high God. I'm trying to get you to see. Don't look at man. Don't, don't look at numbers. 
Look to God, the creator of all things. Look to him. A horse is a vain thing for safety. Numbers, man, that you feel, that you figure, that is very knowledgeable, one that can speak, you know, in a term to make your ears tingle, to make you feel good when he or she speaks. That is a vain thing to put all your hope in. That is a vain thing. But you gotta put your hope in the most high living God of Israel, the creator of all things. <laughs> Neither shall he deliver any by his great strength. It's right in the pages. By your great intuition, why uh, you claim to be so wise and you have all this wisdom and you do, uh, uh, you can do something that is more uh, 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 complicated than calculus, uh, 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 trigonometry, uh, geometry. You, you got an IQ of 390. That is not going to help you. That is not going to help you. Neither will it help them. It's all in the most high living God of Israel. It's all about what he has said. But you're putting your hope in a man or a woman. No. Put your hope in God. God will send that man. And that man is not going to tell you what he thinks or what he says. That man is going to tell you what God has said. And any time they go off script and start telling you what God has not said, leave them alone, including me. If I ever go off script, uh-uh, that ain't the way it is. The most I said this, the most I said that. That's what you do. But let's keep on. Behold, the eyes of the Lord is upon all them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy. See that? Where does it go back to? All roads lead right back to him. The most high God. But see, there is, there is individuals that, well, I'm just waiting on the most high. You're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. You're going to perish. Because the most high always sends him and sends a representative to his people. But you don't want to listen to his representative that he has sent. You want to do it your way. And your way, you're going to fail. You're going to fail miserably. Now look what he says. To deliver their souls from death and to keep them alive in fame. See that? It's all about the purpose and the plan for our lives. Our souls wait for the Lord. He is our help. He is our help. He is our help and our shield. For our heart shall rejoice in him. Because we have trusted in his holy name. It goes back to him. See, when everything goes back to him, baby, you're going to be all right. It goes back to what he has said. That's the truth. Because that's what is going to materialize in this world. That's what is going to happen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according to as we have hope in you. See that? We got hope in him. We got hope in what he has said. That's where our hope lies. And what he have said concerning us. So we, we're going to close there. All right, family? We say happy Sabbath. We love you. 
All of us from over here at the high priest over the whole house of Israel say we love you guys. I want you guys to go back. Listen to the video. Wonder it. And I also want you guys that come across this video to help the most high's cause. I am the high priest over the whole house of Israel. The most high have sent me to the whole house of Israel. All right? He told, he told, he spoke these words. And every word that God has spoke shall come to pass. He said, those that bless Abraham, I will bless them. Those that bless, those that curse Abraham, I will curse them. The tithe belongeth unto the priest. All you out there that love the Most High and love his word and want to do according to his word, I want you guys to look for the PayPal and uh, in the Cash App and the P.O. Box. And do as the Most High have commanded you. The tithe belongs to the priest. All right? Not a, not a preacher, not a pastor, but the tithe belongs to the priest. Now you guys know how to do it at the end of the broadcast. Come together with one voice and one mind. On the count of three. One, two, three. One word, one God, one people, one love. Levi. All praise, all praise, family. Until our next Sabbath, we say we love you guys. Shalom.